lovely friends welcome to my channel creative art i am nilima and today friends as you can see here we are going to make this beautiful dotting mandala art this time friends i have taken the imagination from a flower so in this video you have to guess which flower does our mandala art looks like and friends to make it yourself please to watch the whole video and do subscribe my channel friends for more creative art painting videos and do press the bell icon to get notifications for each video i post every week all the materials required to make this beautiful dot mandala art are mentioned in the description box below with the links from where you can also buy them they are also shown in the video to get this image to use it as a reference Please to click on the link www.creativeathome.com, which is my website. So enjoy this DIY, friends. Friends, let's quickly check out the materials which we are going to need for doing mandala dotting art. First of all, we are going to need mandala dotting tools. So this is a set of eight tools which are bigger in size, and this is a set of five which are smaller in size for doing all the detailing parts. Okay. And secondly, for colors, I'm going to use Camel Artist acrylic colors. You can also use Fevicryl acrylic colors. These are available in bottles like this. Thirdly, for a base. You can either use a canvas board. This is a canvas board from Camel of size 20 into 20 centimeters, or else you can also use a round cut piece of ply or a hardboard. Okay, and whenever you're going to use this kind of ply or hardboard, you should attach this kind of hook so that you can hang your art before starting your art piece. We are also going to need a paintbrush, pencil, compass. And a scale for measurement and at last we are going to need a palette in which we will pour and mix colors this time friends as a base I'm going to use a soft board which is cut in a round shape and now I'm going to paint it using a black acrylic paint now friends coloring the base as a black is completed so now we are going to draw a few measurement lines and we are also going to find the center point Actually, I have already marked the center point here. So I'll just draw the lines which I'm going to need for painting. Then using a protector, I'm going to find the exact right angle. Now after making the eight lines, I'm using a compass. I'm going to draw a few circles. So now friends, I have drawn as many circles as I need. So now, first of all, we are going to pour our base colors. So we are going to need red and white. Okay, so each time we are going to use our colors, we are going to mix a combination of these colors with white to make the new color. Okay, so the first color I'm going to use is brown, which I'm going to do in center and lift it up. The second color would be I'll mix brown separately and then use the magenta mix with it so that it will give a little bit of reddish color. We need to add few drops of water because the color is quite thick and then just one small drop of white because the color is really looking dark. Okay, next I'm going to use a very small tiny ball tool and create dots. Okay, now I'm going to take a bigger size of tool. Then I'm going to mix some more extra white in the same color. Make it a bit lighter than the previous shade. Take the next size of tool and place it in between these two. Again, I'm going to mix some more white in the same color so that it may turn light. Then I'll take a bigger tool and place dots where exactly needed. And each time we mix some more white in the same dark color so that the shade goes from dark to light. Now again use one point bigger tool and place the dot exactly in between these two dots. Now 
now in the color i'll start adding red okay time by time shade has to change now use a bigger tool dip it completely and then start placing the dots around okay each time you have to add more and more red in the same color now again use a bigger tool maintain a proper distance okay so each time we end up adding more and more red in the same color so it looks like this finally now add more red plenty of red is needed right now and now finally select a much more bigger ball tool and place the dot exactly in between these two Okay, this time I'm going to directly take magenta color and a very big ball tool and place it in this part. Okay, it should be in center but there should be a little more distance than the previous we have run. Okay. So now I have mixed brown in magenta, the same color and I'm going to place the larger size dots in between these. Okay, till now we will let this part get dry first and then we'll start the designing using smaller tools okay now we are going to make a different design for that first of all i'm going to take dark color put it in the center one draw two three continue the same dots till the bottom of the main round dot okay do it again so you have to do the same after making the first round of dots, start making the second round of dots and exactly place the first biggest dot on the top of the second one and continue it towards the bottom, refill it. Okay, so now in the same color you have to mix quantity of white so that it may give you a lighter color and then it is going to look like this and then continue the same pattern as we are doing. So now friends we are going to do for the inner part and I'm going to use the same color which I have done the bigger circle for this and we are going to repeat the same pattern design we did here and each time we will be again making the colors shade lighter Okay, so now in the same red color I have mixed white to make it lighter and I'm going to repeat the same design just I'm using one point bigger dot tool. Now I have thought to add one more design in this design so i'm going to do a red color here single dot okay not in the center but in one side edge of it so now i'm going to repeat the same design on this dots also first place the center dot then keep it taking to the next end of the dot in this way Okay, now I'm going to use the same color to make this kind of 
browns here okay this shade should be of course lighter than this shade which we have done earlier now i'm going to place a light color of dot in the one side end of this dots bigger dots now we are going to use a much lighter color shade and repeat the same steps okay now i'll place a much more lighter dot in the series So now we are using the same color just a bigger size of dotting tool and we are also going to do the same dotting process surrounding this dot. Now friends again I'm going to repeat the same step this time I'm going to use the biggest tool and this is the last size I'm using repeat the steps till this part so friends as you can see here that each time I'm going to use a lighter color shade and I'll meet it till here this point I'll do the same with this circle and also this circle I'll complete it and then finally I'll show you how does it looks okay so now friends this is how beautiful our mandala art looks when it is finally completed you can see the close-up view of it how beautiful it has come up and this part completely looks like the center of the flower the depth is very clear and as well as the volume of the flower looks very pretty with this petals so now friends it is finally completed so we are going to do two layers of varnish on it i'm going to use liquitex gloss professional varnish you can also use camel artist varnish and do two layers of it on your dot mandala art and then it is ready to go so friends this is how beautiful our mandala art looks when i have placed it with few planters you can also use it as a wall decor make a few more with the similar designs and place it together so friends have you thought what does this mandala art looks like it completely looks like a beautiful flower so please do tell me in the comments below what do you think which flower reference i have taken and if you did like this video friends please do like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching